Fortunately, Utah meets Utah's guidelines as they move forward. The state saying it's moving in the right direction. That's the word today. Also from the unemployment office reporting a positive trend. And we could use one out of that office. We go live to news specialist Lad Egan. Right, Lad? Yeah, we will take any good news we can get, Dave. And what we're learning today that this is the fourth consecutive week of declining unemployment claims. In fact, the report coming out today shows a 40% drop in new claims from the week before. Still, I must report that these are at historic highs. Let me show you the numbers from the report showing that nearly 12,000 Utahns filed new claims for unemployment last week. In addition, more than 7,000 filed for the form of assistance from the self-employed and the gig workers. For comparison, that's far less than the pandemic peak of more than 33,000 claims in just one week. Also today, the unemployment office issued a warning and asked companies to report employees that refuse an offer to come back to work. What we will do is we will freeze that unemployment benefit and get in contact with the claimant and in contact with the employer to determine whether there is good cause for that refusal. Uh, but if there is not good cause, it will lead to a quit and a loss of unemployment benefits. The Department of Workforce Services saying that unemployment benefits must be used correctly. It's asking companies to clearly communicate job offers and then let them know if an employee declines. The statement goes on to say, quote, if an individual fails to disclose the refusal of an offer of suitable work, that individual may be required to pay back benefits received and face possible prosecution for fraud. So even if you aren't offered the same number of hours at your own, old job, you can still return and then claim unemployment benefits for those hours you are short. That will also make you eligible for that flat $600 weekly payment from the federal government. For Live at 5, I'm Lad Egan.